All right, welcome to another day of school. I took this off our daily ticker because we have 65 days left of school. Isn't that hard to believe? 65 days left of school. Let's make a, a, a fraction. I'm gonna do something that doesn't include 65, if that's okay with you, because I wanna just do a simple, basic problem um, of finding a percent using a fraction. So I'm gonna draw a picture here, and the picture is going to be of a pizza. Now this pizza, doesn't it look delicious? Canadian bacon and pineapple, isn't that your favorite? Well, anyway, here's a pizza and you can see the pizza is cut up into one, two, three, four, five, six. Six slices. And let's suppose I eat one of these slices. And if I asked what percent of the pizza did I eat? Well, I'm going to make a fraction. That's how you find percent. And so the fraction is one out of the six pieces. Now, once we get to this, we know this should all be, I, I, I did a pictograph here of one out of six. And here is the fraction that is the same, um, the, the same thing as this pictograph of one out of six, one out of six. And let's find out what percent it is. Well, we know from our previous lessons that this line in a fraction is the same line in a division problem and is also the same line that is made, that makes up a percent sign. So we know that all fractions are all percents. And so what we do is we just rewrite one sixth or one out of six, we write it as a division problem, one divided by six. And the way I write it out to solve it is one divided by six. So this is congruent with this. Well, now we want to find out what percent it is. So I have to cut this number up into a hundred equal pieces, just like this at our, this is the, the chart that had our hundredth day of school and it's cut up into a hundred squares. I want to cut up everything that I'm dividing here into 100 pieces. The way I do it is I just add my decimal point and my two zeros, just like I did throughout the 100th day party, throughout those 100 days that we did our daily ticker. And now I have a percent. Bring my decimal point up. How many times does six go into one? None. How many times does six go into 10? One. And six, 36. So it's repeating. So we could actually round up to 17%, but just to keep things simple right now, we're not even gonna deal with the remainders. I know that it's 16, 16 hundredths. And 16 hundredths, the, the way you write it as a percent is 16%, because hundredths means out of 100, and percent means out of 100. Now, some teachers will say, oh, if you're converting a decimal point to a, a percent, just move the decimal points over two spaces. Well, you're not really doing that. I mean, it, the algorithm is you're doing that. But in essence, you just have to remember that six, this 16 out of 100 is written 16 hundredths. And how do you write that as a percent? 16 hundredths. That's why we've been doing that daily ticker. So you understand the, the reasoning behind the algorithm. Okay? So I want you to make up a problem like this. Maybe share it in your, on the daily lesson plan. Just do a simple fraction of any fraction that you can and find out what percent that fraction is by dividing the bottom into the top.